Hey friends, welcome to Teen Tuesday for the month of February. So, February 17th is National Kindness Day, Random Acts of Kindness Day. And February 27th is Pokemon Day. So I thought we should combine the two. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint some rocks to look like Pokemon that we can then hide for our friends to find. Something to boost their spirits. So if you come to Kakana Library or go to your library there at Riverview, there are kits for you to pick up. And in your kit, what you will find is a paintbrush, a set of paints, and a rock so that you can paint a rock to look like Pokemon. So I started my rock a little bit early because I needed to get my first coat down because otherwise we would just have a video watching paint dry. It's not exciting. So instead, we're gonna do the more exciting part and I'm going to paint my rock to look like Pikachu. I hope, maybe. All right, I'm gonna try. So, a reference picture. I've got my rock that I have painted yellow. And I also grabbed a Q-tip because that can help for making circles if you don't feel like you can paint a circle. I don't feel like I can paint a circle. So I'm cheating a little bit. So, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna give them some eyes. So I'm gonna dip in my black paint. I'm gonna put two little dots on there. Do you Pikachu's eyes? Ah! Pikachu's so cute. But making progress. All right. So now Pikachu's got a cute little nose. I gotta paint a cute little nose. So, let's see here. It's gonna be like a little, little tiny nose. Okay, so that's a, that's a nose, can't, can't tell yet. Now it just looks like a little smiley face. Now I gotta make his happy little mouth. I'm gonna make Pikachu's happy little mouth here. to Pikachu's little happy mouth. All right. So now he needs a little twinkle in his eye because it's a twinkle of electricity, isn't it? It's gonna zap me. Thunderbolt. Okay. So I'm gonna get just a little touch of white paint so I can make a little sparkle in Pikachu's eye. Just a little. off a little bit there because Pikachu has rosy cheeks. So, oh wait, I'm going to keep that open. I don't have pink paint, but I have red and I have white. So I think, I think I'm actually going to give him red cheeks, but then I want to give him a little pink tongue. So I'm going to start with just my red, do his little, his little red circles on his cheeks here. Probably should have used the Q-tip for the circles again. Definitely should have used the Q-tip for the circles again. But we'll get we'll get the idea of a circle, and that's enough. All right, all right. It's starting to look Pikachu-ish. All right. So now I'm going to make some pink. So I'm going to take some of my red, and I'm just going to. 
put it like on my little dish here. You have a little dish or paper towel. I just need a tiny bit. Now I'm gonna scoop up some of my white. Put that in there too so I can mix them up together to make pink. So you might, depending on what Pokemon you wanna paint, like if you're making Jigglypuff, you'll need to make a lot of pink, but you'll probably have to mix up some colors, which is part of the fun. Because then you're inventing your own colors, which is awesome. All right, now I'm gonna paint his little, little tongue on there, because he's just such a happy little Pikachu. So there's my little Pikachu rock. I am going to hide this somewhere out in our library's interactive learning garden for one of you to find. But first, I'm gonna paint a secret happy message for you on the back with my paints. So come on down to the library or go to your library, pick up a kit and paint your favorite Pokemon on the rock, write a friendly message on the back, and hide it for your friends. Maybe I'll come find one. Take care, friends. I'll see you next time.